Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. EastEnders return for iconic character as Bobby Beale set to discover truth about Anna. EastEnders teased viewers a few weeks ago with the shock return of some familiar faces, including Cindy Beale, who was brought back from the dead. Ian Beale, Peter Beale, and Lauren Branning also made appearances, but haven't been back on screen since. Fans found out a couple of months ago that Cindy Beale, Michelle Collins, is actually alive and has reunited with her ex-husband Ian Beale, Adam Woodyatt, and son Peter. The family were in France together and had been joined by Peter's ex, Lauren Branning, Jacqueline Jossa. To add to the twist, it turned out Cindy had been in witness protection and under a new identity had started a family with Walford newbie George Knight, Colin Salmon, all of whom now live at the Vic and have no idea of her whereabouts. Her daughters Gina Knight, Francesca Henry, and Anna Knight, Molly Rainford, believe their mom was called Rose Knight and all they know is that she abandoned the family years ago. Anna had been desperately searching for her mom, but recently promised the family she would stop, however. Spoilers from the BBC soap reveal she ends up with some key information, which leads Peter to return to Albert Square. After encouragement from Freddie Slater, Bobby Brazier, Anna finally tells George, Gina, and Elaine Peacock, Harriet Thorpe, that she's got her mom's number. George snaps at his daughter and reveals he's had her number for years, and it's clear she doesn't want to be found. Later, Elaine explains to her partner and Gina that it's natural for Anna to want to speak to her mom, leaving them both to give Anna their blessing to make contact. Anna calls her mom and leaves a message explaining she's in Walford and how she misses her every day. After radio silence, Anna sends a scathing text to her mom and heads to No. 45 for a heart-to-heart -heart with Bobby Beale, Clay Milner-Russell, as the pair put their awkwardness from last week behind them. After radio silence, Anna sends a scathing text to her mom and heads to No. 45 for a heart-to-heart -heart with Bobby Beale, Clay Milner-Russell, as the pair put their awkwardness from last week behind them. Ian quickly deletes the messages from Anna and pleads with him not to tell Cindy, which he agrees not to. However, Peter shocks Ian when he later shares his plans to leave for Walford to meet his two sisters and declares he's booked on the Eurostar that night. Later, Peter arrives at the Vic as an unsuspecting Jaina and Anna prepare to close up for the night. Elsewhere, Bobby is shocked to learn Kathy Beale, Jillian Tailforth, is selling the chippy after arriving at work to find a for sale sign being erected. Failing to reach Kathy, who is on her honeymoon, Bobby decides to call Peter. He is then stunned to wake up to find Peter sleeping on the sofa in No. 45. Peter vows to help Bobby turn the chippy into a success to force Kathy not to sell, but instead he heads to the Vic to spy on his new sisters. Things go from bad to worse as Ben Mitchell, Max Bowden, arrives and gives Peter a mouthful before Gina reveals that Bobby is smitten with Anna. Peter attempts to stop the budding relationship between his siblings. He wakes the next day full of regret to a phone call from Cindy, who can sense that something is wrong, but Peter covers. Later, Bobby orders his brother to leave. Back in France, Cindy tells Ian she's going to Walford to collect Peter, but knowing that George and the girls are living on the square, Ian convinces her not to leave by insisting he'll make Peter come home.